Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Hacker Associate channel. In this particular episode, we are going to decode how Uber was hacked. So a lot of people have messaged me over LinkedIn and they wanted the same like, can you please explain regarding the detail like how Uber was hacked and can you just share some detail with the proper description. So I just thought, okay, like I'm going to create a record a particular video on that and then I'm going to share the particular information, whatever I have collected okay, from that incident. And the next part, okay, we are going to learn about what we are going to learn from that particular incident, okay, like basically post-mortem. So maybe if you ever done incident response or incident handling, there are four phases there, right? Like one is basically planning, second is detection, third is containment and recovery. Then we have a last is basically post-mortem. That all we are going to learn, okay, in this particular section. So let us start and decode that particular Uber incident. So before I'm going to start that another mind map, okay, like recently I have shared this particular image over LinkedIn. So this is right now trending and it is now viral almost. Okay, so if you want to understand how actually happened, this is basically the image. Okay, you can follow it. Uh, just go to the hackerassociate.com and just on the right hand side, there's a LinkedIn button. You can simply click on this and stay informed with us because every week, okay, we are coming with the new things. Okay, like uh, whatever happened, okay, across the globe. Like we are just doing a research regarding to the latest ransomware, latest malware and many, many things. Okay, we are researching and we are basically updating okay through our channel like twitter or youtube or discord likewise so we can just join all the channels if you are interested okay in the particular latest information or latest updates from our end so here's the image okay as you know social engineering weeping credentials so now i'm not going to read that image okay like let's see in a proper manner like the particular thing like how uber was hacked so i created the mind map okay for you which is here okay which is exactly uh, the decodation of this particular thing right so this image already aware about is already available okay on linkedin you can download it so now uh, this is recently i created the new uh, particular mind map so uh, as per the uh, the user questions whatever they have asked me okay over the linkedin so i thought okay like i'm going to answer one by one so you know uber recently hacked okay 15 september 2022 and what actually happened so here okay like the details okay like i have shared here so First part, okay, we are going to uh, see like what attacker have exist. So we can say that attacker exists stuff. So what did the attacker compromise? So you can see that clearly, okay, on my right hand side, there is a, a Slack uh, basically message, a corporate Slack. Like, hi, I announced I am a hacker and Uber has suffered a data breach. Likewise, okay, like message exchange. So hacker called a T-Pod successfully exists Uber infrastructure and critical cloud services such as AWS, Slack, Google, Workspace and other. Second uh, part is basically the community become aware of this incident from a public message posted by a hacker on a bug bounty platform, hacker one, and on behalf of the Uber account for a bug hunter. So you can see this is message like Uber has been hacked, domain admin, AWS admin and so on. Next, like how it happened, like this is basically main people like question it is like most of the people are thinking about it, like how it happened. So what actually happened is you can see okay on my right hand side there's a whatsapp image right so that's how the message exchange i'm going to read for you by the way but just understand these three particular points so hacker contacts such as telegram account and message him to understand the detail so you can see the message what it actually shared okay so basically uber had a network share the share contained some powershell scripts and one of the powershell script contained the username and the password for an admin user in thycotic pam so here's a new word came there called thycotic pm right so if you're not aware about thycotic pm no need to worry i'm going to discuss okay in this particular section only so i was able to extract series for all services like da uh, duo one login aws g suit and so on so you can see that uh, the employee message like on a uber ip range like gcp or aws or star means asterisk dot uber internal so in uh, you can see another message basically from attacker it called in uber intranet which is core.uber.com now you can see how you get access to the internet then. So AC employee access VPN scan in, uh, intranet and you can see yes exactly. So this is basically message you can read okay from the screenshot. As you can see attacker is started with social engineering. The conclusion is social engineering okay like you can see attacker have used it. So the question here okay like arrive right, because most of the people not understand okay like those who are beginner okay new to the cyber security world they have no idea what is thycotic PAM right. So that part basically I am going to explain now. So what is thycotic PAM? So it is used by Uber to store a cloud credential and API key such as AWS, G Suite, Google Workspaces, OneLogin and other. 
the credential for a thicotic pem were founded uh, were found by hacker on one of the network share inside uber infrastructure in a powershell script so basically hard coded secret okay which is basically always a bad practices we always teach in our training sessions now another important question like even if you see like my previous image which is here on the linkedin most of the people okay on the comment section they have asked like how mfa bypassed right so like i decoded okay like some point which you can use it okay like for your reference so this is my perspective like how do attacker bypass or how attacker able to manage mfa or two factor authentication what are the all possibilities so whatever i think the possibility this i have written there okay still i am basically researching on the uber incident so basically whatever the information i am collecting okay from that incident i am going to share day by day okay through my channel so let's see like what are the possibility like what actually happened there so let's see and decode this thing so with the help of social engineering attack this is basically my possibilities okay so with the help of social engineering attack someone shared the one time passcode with the hacker during the attack that is also one of the case that's how like mfa can be bypassed second attacker compromise vpn credential like private key and they don't require mfa this is another case and third is uber didn't implement mfa for a vpn employee authentication so this is another case right so again maybe uber didn't implement mfa which is hard to believe that but it can be possible okay because we are all human we do mistake okay and the last part is the conclusion what we learned from this particular incident basically called postmortem as i mentioned okay in incident response we have a following phases like one is planning okay basically preparation second is uh, detection containment eradication when we basically in this particular case we are going to isolate everything and fourth is basically postmortem it means whatever happened it happened it not going to repeat okay in future right that is basically called postmortem there are two terminology one is premortem and second is called postmortem right so what is premortem as you know okay by the name is called pre pre means first and post means last likewise so these are basically again my perspective like what to understand okay from the uber incident and the same way you can also check okay in your infrastructure right so always scan your shares and asset for a hard coded credential very very important because we always do mistake and we sometime okay basically use a terraform code or something like that we are going to directly upload okay to repository like bitbucket or github so the main part we need to always check the hard coded credential second uh, no hard coded credential and and the temperature key such as ssh and vpn and cloud credential etc should be found on the particular file next split internet by zone even inside vpn segmentation required so this is another okay learning okay you always split internet by zone uh, use mfa two factor authentication always this is basically case study so as as we can see that okay like attacker able to bypass mfa so we need to be be sure okay check always okay like two factor authentication right we need to test it properly because whenever we implement we need to test it and next no aws key use aws im instance profile instead of using a aws key use aws im instance profile and another is protect internal service and system such as pam corporate portal and management system so basically complete assessment required properly and from all the angles okay we need to assess it because attacker are very clever so for security we need to check all the entry points right but for attacker only he require one particular section or one particular point or loophole or vulnerability or weaknesses whatever you say that we just we require one thing and we can directly enter okay in the particular infrastructure just a one mistake but for security we require a good budget okay first of all right second okay good team a technical team monitoring team firewall team and all this team okay like we can see together we need to work properly threat hunters so it's very difficult okay always security and you can see on the other side like hacking just one mistake and game over that's how all attack work this is all for this particular section and the, this particular mind map basically i'm sharing so you can download okay by uh, today like evening i'm going to upload okay on my linkedin and twitter so you can download it and if any question okay you can feel free to um, message me on over the linkedin and also you can message me on discord so i hope you enjoy this particular video and have a great day ahead and see you soon in the next episode